Good morning. Who is with me? Pam is with me. Nice. Good morning. So, yes, nice and early here in California. Bootcamp cardio today. We got to get some good stretching going. So, right now I have my stretch strap and my foam roller. And this is how we're going to start today. And why we're going to start today? Not always as you realize we're doing the stretch strap because sometimes I believe that you guys just hopping into the session and don't stretch. So now you have no other choice but to do it with me. So lay down on the floor. If you do not have the stretch strap, you can literally use a stretch band, the monster band, or, or what, what else can you do? You can use literally a rope, anything that will get that leg up and we're just gonna hold it for a few seconds and bring it down and again bring it back up and one more time hold toes are down press on it pull so that back of your leg the hamstrings gonna stretch if you guys looking for us at big physical and why it's not gonna happen today for reasons out of our control so we're just gonna stay here on my account here and we're gonna do this together. Hold it. And now we're gonna bring that leg out to the side. Out to the side. So we try to create 90 degrees. You can extend the other leg. Pull gently on the leg that is closer towards the floor. And now active. So if this is too hard for you to, when you have both legs straight, just keep one leg bent. That's it, you have more control. You want that, that lower back to feel good. All right, now we're gonna go across. There you go, across. Let's stretch that lower back. Your right arm should be on the floor. This is your right leg, right arm on the floor, across the body. Now the goal is to hold that hand on the floor. So you're gonna feel also a good stretch with your shoulder, right? The whole arm is stretching. It feels so good, bringing again. Now, some of you might have to bend that leg, and this is okay. And we're gonna end it up sideways now. We're gonna bring the heel into the glute by pulling with that bend. <clears throat> You're pulling in, bringing the heel in, and automatically stretching your quad, right? So bring it in, kick it forward, and bring it over the shoulder. And you're gonna feel it more than you would be standing. So this is an awesome quad stretch right here. Oh, it feels great. Kick it forward. Quad and hip flexor straight right here. Good, now we can finish off with the glute on its own. Now don't pull on your foot. Just bring that leg pretty close to you. You can not even use the band, or you can use the band if you want to. Hold it and release it. Let's do the other leg I see you guys looking in. So just join us because we just started. Make sure you are stretching. So I like to always start with bringing that leg up. The leg has to be straight through the knee. If you bending that leg, you are not stretching. Okay, so your range of motion might be here in order for you to straighten that leg, and this is okay. 90 degrees is when all of us should have minimum, but beyond that point, it's more flexibility. But that 90 we should all have. So if you don't, your goal should be working towards achieving that 90 degrees, right? So I like to start with just holding it, because that's when you feel hamstrings and your calf it's really stretching and then once I get this I can go down and up with the tension on bringing that toe down so look like just the fact that the bed is there I can control it you see and then bring it down this is active active stretching now let's bring that leg up to the side and again up hovering about the floor we're gonna stretch the inner thighs both of the shoulders should be on the floor. I'm holding it with my he left hand. My left leg is going down towards the floor. I'm gonna extend my right leg and create a 90 degrees with hips facing the ceiling. 
Now this feels too hard to bring that leg bended and control it. Deep breath in and exhale. Not, not all of you can actually do that. That's fine. You can just hold that leg above the floor. And we're gonna switch. Now right hand, left leg, left arm on the floor, twisting you. Remember that left hand has to be on the floor now, okay? That right left leg hit the ground, left hand on the floor, and that's when you feel all the stretch going from the shoulder all the way down to your elbow, and bring it back up, and across. Oh yeah, and again. Good, we're gonna end it up being sideways. So I'm gonna twist, turn, break this for you. <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> break your heel into the glute. Feel it, stretch it, and then kick it forward. And again, bring it over the shoulder. This is awesome because I can regulate this. This is great. Push those hips forward, feel it. Kick it, and again. Good, let's finish off with the glute. You remember the glute stretch? Yes, you can also bring your leg like this and feel that glute stretch. You can also sit up. That's another way, slide that leg in, but do not round your back. You gotta push through the palm of your hands, sit tall, and then lean forward elongating from the spine, not rounding you, because you're not gonna feel it. First, push your hands, extend your arms, be straight, be tall, and then lean forward. And that's when you're gonna feel the stretch <clears throat> in your glutes. Those little things, little parts of stretching, those steps are important, otherwise you cannot get that full stretch. So, let's get the phone rolling. <clears throat> you guys all should have that at home. This one is the advanced one because it has the spikes, but you can get the clear one just <clears throat> plain without any spikes because this one is hard to do. You can gradually do that. And yeah, the, I, it used to be impossible for me to do that on this one. Now I do it. I used to bruise a lot from it, extreme bruises all over the legs. Now it's much better but it's still not as great. So I just keep on going, foam rolling, getting my legs ready every single day. You should be foam rolling quads, side of your leg, hamstrings. It really brings up the circulation. Get that huge, strong myofascial release into your, into your muscles. So if you sore, if you soar and you're gonna roll this, it's gonna hurt. Yes, it's going to hurt. So normally you, what you do, you put both legs and you roll like this, but if it's too hard, too painful, you bring one leg over and then you have more control right here, right? So we're gonna get this going right here. Oh, it's, it's not, it's not pleasant, okay? This is not good. This is not really happy face here. It's, it doesn't feel good, almost. But it has to be done. It means there's some kind of a tightness going on in there. And we wanna have a good range of motion. We wanna prepare the body for a hard workout. So look, those are the steps that you should always be doing. It's not just happening to do the workout. The warm up that we do, it's just addition to what we do here before the session. So it's like a regimen with anything else that we have. Regimen of the warm-up stretching foam rolling has to be, has to be before the session, okay? This side is also painful. If you guys foam rolling, I wanted to know what foam roller are you using? Oh! <clears throat> All right, let's do the hamstrings. Hamstrings, quick glutes, and we are on a roll. So I am off the ground right now. My hands are pushing forward and then pulling. So I'm just rolling over that roller. That's it, hammies. 
That's it, what I'm doing right now. That's it, hamstrings. Not even getting into the glutes. Don't go up underneath your knees. We do not really do joints on this. Okay, let's go into the glutes. So we're gonna sit on the foam roll, okay? Sit on the foam roller. <clears throat> we're gonna lean towards the left. My left arm is on the floor. Left leg goes over the right leg, just like that. Okay? I'm on my left, and I'm gonna dig that left glute right now. The left glute is all exposed right now, so I can dig in all the way top to the bottom. I'm going up and down, digging in, rolling. Oh yeah. Good morning, guys. A lot of you are logging in, and we have to get some medicine balls today, so make sure that you have something to slam. Now, on, on my right side, and I'm leaning towards my right, and I am digging in. That's it, right here. Digging that, that glute into that foam roller, all feels good. After a whole week of workouts, muscles are sore, you know? You gotta help them. You can't just torture them, has to be some kind of a balance. <clears throat> you could also do the calves, but we're not gonna spend much more time on this. This is good. We spent a few good minutes right now here, so we gotta get going, all right? <clears throat> so guys, medicine ball, and it's gonna be <clears throat> from body weight to slam to toss, and that's how it's gonna go the order. <clears throat> I'm gonna start showing you with the squat thrust, and that's how we're gonna start nice and easy, not running, not jumping yet. We're gonna just walk to warm up the body. And that's the first round. So let's get ready. My medicine ball was out and it rolled somewhere. Where is it? Right here. Okay. <clears throat> so you wanna have this somewhere close to you, because I'm gonna show you why. You're gonna have this in between your legs when you're gonna be doing this. All right, so let's get ready, everybody. Let's do this. We started with our walking squat thrust just to get our body warmed up. Alternate your legs, squat down, back is straight, left, right, left, right. So the feet come together in a high plank position, then come apart, all right, just like that. Almost there. There you go. Now we're gonna get that ball in between your legs. You're gonna do a squat thrust and a slam. So hands on, <coughs> keep on going. There's something <coughs> happened a little bit different here. Okay, guys, it's all good. All right, go. <coughs> so we're going squat thrust and a slam. Catch that ball. Squat thrust and a slam. Catch it. Squat thrust. Slam. Catch. Squat thrust. Slam. Catch. Keep on going. We're gonna get nice and warm here. All right, we're going right into a squat thrust. Grab that ball. Toss it. Go, go, go. Immediately. Push, try not to use your legs. Just stiff toss here. Back is straight, toss it. Squat, hands on the goal, jump out, jump back in. Toss it, and again, down and up. Toss it. Good, push that ball on the side. We're going right into push-ups. Look, for those of you who cannot do push-ups, just gonna stay in a high plank position. And here and there, drop your whole body into the ground. Go. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. And again, slowly down. You guys did my boxing yesterday? Yes, we were doing push-ups. Never enough of those. And time. So you see how fast this goes? Yes, that's how we're gonna keep that pace going today. And then you're gonna have 
few seconds here till we start the next one. And we're gonna repeat that, got it? Okay, awesome. Drink some water. And we're gonna push on the body weight squat thrust. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Squat thrust, body weight. Boom, boom. This is fast. Squat down, jump out. Jump back in, back straight, back straight. Don't round that back. I'm gonna spice up this one in the next round, but not yet. I'm just preparing it for this. Just give me a good one here first. Get ready with that medicine bowl. Right away, you're doing squat thrust. There's gonna be a lot of squat thrust today. Slam, but don't think that we're gonna just do the squat thrust all hour long. No, slam it, catch it. You gotta catch that ball. Back straight, squat, slam, catch it. Jump out, jump again. Wrap that ball, full arm extension overhead. Slam it, right into toss, right? So squat thrust, grab it. Pause it, don't squat yet, just stiff arms, stiff arms, out and in. My ball is big, so I gotta work with the grip here, bringing it under, catching it right from the chest. Drop it right into the push-up, go. There was no time in between for break. You don't have a break here, if anything, just holding it. Keep on going. All the way down. Am I sore? Yes. Chest into the ground, feet together. Time. So now, Play around with your hand, because if you do push-ups this way, your wrist might hurt. We can just get on the dumbbells and do it on the dumbbells with wrist strength. So, this is the time to recover. Concentrate on your breathing, stretching, and we are spicing this up, ready? Now we're gonna go as squat thrust, the body weight, and we're gonna do one jump squat with that ball now. So grab that ball right here and jump. Squat, jump out, jump back in, hold it here, jump, explode up. But you see how low I am staying right here? Boom, yes, out in. Hold that ball, whatever you have at home. Go, jump. Now what we had, you remember? Squat thrust, slam it. Oh, your hands will feel that too today. Your forearms. Bigger ball, harder it is. You might have a smaller ball at home, it's fine. Slam it, catch it, squat. Grab it, slam, good slam, overhead. Arms extended, we're going right into the toss. Now we're gonna use a squat. So bring it down, out in, grab the ball, squat to toss. Bring it down, hands on the ball, squat. You see how I'm pushing the hands under? I'm grabbing it, switching it, squatting it, pressing it. Ha. Down, down, down. Right into push-ups, guys. Go, and then it's the break. Go, go, go. Deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your lips. And again. Step, step tight. And a break. Hard, right? That's how it's supposed to be. Supposed to be challenging. 
supposed to be challenging. That's the whole idea. That's the whole goal. Use your concoction pre-workout. That's what I'm doing right now. Herbalife and a dash of Trulin. We gotta go. A body weight became a jump squat with the ball. Ah, we stay low. So right from here, right from here. Don't even stand up. Oh yeah, 12 extra pounds. Sessions, I see James, Daniel, Judita, hello, Maria, Margarita. Yes, are you guys working out or are you just watching? Let me know. Bunch of you on Instagram, Christy, hello, Pam. Oh, okay. Pam cannot work out with us today. It's okay. She will get things done. If this was your Priority list, yeah, you gotta do this. But guys, some of you just sleeping in and telling that you don't have, saying that you don't have time to work out. Get your ass up earlier and start doing the sessions and then you're gonna have time to work out, all right? Go to sleep earlier, get up earlier, and you're gonna have all this time to manage. You can start with 10 minutes earlier, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Within a month, you can be up full hour earlier and have time to work out. You all have 24 hours a day, and yet some of us always say they don't have time, but we all have the same time. Let me let this the little thing make you think today. All right? We're going. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Drink your free workout. Drink your water. Guys, I'm gonna go into crawl out. Crawl out will start with body weight, of course. Ball is next to me too. You have to. This is gonna be more challenge because the ball is pretty wide. I might have to switch this round for a smaller ball just to grip it and slam it. We'll see how the other one work. If not, there is an option. So you see that good, it's good to have both bigger and smaller, right? Because different, different balls, different exercises. All right, crawl out. Look, in a crawl out, your feet have to be wider than your shoulder width. 
for the reason to putting your hands out to a high plank position and as you push your hands back to a squat you have to have room so you you go in with your hands to a high plank position going back in the whole idea and goal is to call quickly and each step you take you're shifting that weight to that squat okay low squat not leg straight that's very important so again we're gonna go slamming we're gonna go tossing and we're gonna do push up with leg lift this time okay so one push up and leg lift are we ready hope we are three two one go curl out quick hands out feet are apart let's do this just first this we're gonna push this to the next level next round already that we are wound up we're gonna have four of those that ball has to be close to me so i believe have to roll it because there is no time to do it all right let's do this pull out the ball in between your legs you just gotta pay attention look we're grabbing that ball now we're gonna go slam over slam over bring the ball down it's not gonna be that many crawl outs probably but we're still gonna make the work go crawl out ha. this is listen this is just the beginning we have a lot of to cover today right into a toss squat toss Crawl out, squat and toss, a lot of squats, a lot of tosses, keep on going, oh yeah, legs on fire, feels good, push, 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 push up, right here, push up and leg lift, so look, one push up, you stay right here, lift, lift, now fast, push up, lift, lift, I'm gonna bring that hands closer for a closer break, push up, lift, lift, and again, down, see my group changed on the push up, 30 seconds break, right here, I might stay here, Stretch your hip flexors. There you go. Bring the other leg in. Nice. Good. Get ready for the crawl out. The crawl out, we're gonna add explosion. We're gonna bring some fire. So you're gonna jump up in the air after the crawl out. Chop, chop, we're going. Look, boom. With hands out to a high plank position. Push, push, push. Jump. Listen, guys. It should be fast. All up. Gotta push it. Not much time after to recover. After those three. I'm getting my ball right in. We are going. Getting into the slam now. Pick up that ball. Ha. Bring that ball center. Roll out. A lot of crawl outs. Each crawl out. It's a full body exercise. Ha. Yes, you're gonna feel this. Arms, shoulders, everything. We're going into crawl out, squat and toss. Grab that ball, squat and toss. Yes, on top of everything, you tossing the ball. How, how heavy is your ball? Tell me, how heavy is your ball? I have 12 pounds right here. Listen, this is cardio. The ball shouldn't be extremely heavy. You're going for speed. Push up, right there. Closer grip, boom, 
Lift those legs. Hold for two, three seconds. Squeeze your glutes. You can also do the push up on the ball. It's gonna force you to switch the grip. Ha. Yes. And time for this. 30 seconds. We're keeping the clock rolling. I have to tell you, always in the morning I'm like, it's cold. Always so cold in, the, in here. And then within 10 minutes, I'm so hot. That I, this is uncomfortable, but it's good. I want this to be uncomfortable. Ready? Crawl out. Explode up. Explode. High, high, high. Let those feet go off the ground. Right here. Boom. Some of you won't be able to jump. You're going to just do a squat, and I get it. Sometimes you see me, I am modifying to go right into slam. You gotta crawl those hands out, get a ball. Push it over, over, over. See, pivot rotation, bringing the ball center, crawling out, grabbing the ball back, his straight arms overhead. Boom, good catch. Bring it center, squat. Fire, fire, fire. I want your A game, guys. Ha! Right into the pause, you gotta crawl out. Listen, you are out of breath. Fine, we gotta work with this. Let's do this. Ah. Squatting. Pulsing. Ha! Close grip. Ah, I switched the grip 
right here on my knuckles. That's why my hands are so scraped. Always. Gotta put some gloves on. Hold it. Squeeze it. Ha! Nice. Broken sweat. Feels awesome. Longer break. Longer break. Active recovery, guys. After it is done, you can lay down on the floor. Stretch your legs. Stretch them. Tip of the day for the ladies out there. Stop starving. Stop starving. Oh, most of you are starving. That's why you gained the weight or you are overweight. Please eat every two to three hours. You have a, if you don't know how to do it, you have a problem, send a message and we will help you. You have to break down the cycle of your bad habits. So you gotta replace the bad habits into the good habits. You gotta, you gotta cause habits triggers, very important part. You gotta monitor another important part. Monitor your habits, what's being measured, being achieved. <coughs> Loosen up, my friends. Loosen up. So if you have a habit, for instance, that's been developed and you need to add another habit, have it stacking right there. So after the workout, I'm gonna give you an example. You've been doing the workouts. Super, on your A game, 100%. After the workout, I will drink Herbalife Shake. After the workout, I will drink Herbalife Shake. Gonna start repeating this in your head. You're gonna finish the workout immediately, make yourself the shake. That's gonna be habit stuff. You're gonna do it first day, second day, third day, in a week, boom. Maybe not, maybe a little bit longer. <clears throat> but till this is implemented, that goes into literally, it has to be smooth transition. Because if the transition has some obstacles and, and, and mm, traction, you're gonna have a hard time. So you're gonna find the perfect spot to fit in. Because if after the workout you need to take a shower first before you're gonna make the shake, then you take the shower. So after the shower, I will go and drink my shake. Do you get what I'm saying? Because if it's traction, if it's not on the way, you will not learn this habit. That's a very, very important point. So make sure you guys do this, and I'm telling you, guarantee you, that it's gonna fit it. <clears throat> All right, I can gobble. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is a part of, this is, uh, this is the high performance OTD operate to dominate coach. Now imagine if, it, if, the, if the coach will give you a breakdown with examples like this. Imagine this, how it changes you. <clears throat> but you need to be willing to do that. This, you're gonna get some points, but when you get into the private coaching, that's the high level. That's the accountability. All right. Ha, single leg push-up. Single leg squat thrust. You thought that we're not gonna get into this, huh? Well, we are. The single leg gives you a phenomenal firm butt. Well, boys, maybe you don't care. However, some of you should care. Not gonna be pointing fingers right now. But the girls, they care about their B. B. So, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do single leg squat thrust alternating legs each round. Not each one, within the round, we're gonna do the reps. So we're gonna do this one, then that one. We gotta remember how. We're gonna do a slam and a toss on a single leg. So this is going to be fun. You ready? <clears throat> single leg without the ball. 
Three, two, one. Just follow me. You gotta just follow me. Ready? Go. Single. 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 Stand up straight. Get that balance going. The same leg. Look, I am not switching right now. We started with the left one. Let's just remember. That's my weaker side. Let's just remember. Left leg. Oh, yeah. Single. Ah. Five. Fire. Now we're gonna go the ball, right leg. Look, on the, on the ball, jump out, jump back in, lift that ball, and what you gotta do, slam it. Yes, you got it. Lift that ball from the ground, slam it, challenge came, right? But like, damn, I thought that this is no, no, no ballerina today. And here we go. Back to the left. Look left. We're gonna do toss. On a single leg, you gotta stand up, get the balance going, toss it. Bring it down, hands on the ball, jump out, jump back in. Listen, maybe some of you will have to do this on a couch. I don't know, on a stool, something. On a step, something. Maybe you're gonna be just working with body weight. Just please do not stop. <clears throat> do not stop. All right, we're going to push up on the ball. Let's go. Push up and knee tuck. Push up, knee tuck left. Push up, knee tuck right. Push up, knee tuck left. Slow, strong. Thirty seconds of a break. We're gonna start with our right leg. Good, good on time. Perfect on time. Right leg. Body weight. Get ready. I'm on my right. You should be too. Go. Push, stand up, back straight, out and in. Show you sideways. Ah, that glute. Oh, and tomorrow, I'm on 60 miles back a bike ride. Yes, we'll be on fire. Ah, whew. Ah. Oh. That's good. Left leg. Listen, now left leg, oh, we gotta slam it. You see, so now you realize that both legs will get the slam going, both legs will get the toss going, right? Yes. And we didn't build up to all these different variations of squat or single leg. We've done this body weight I showed you. Go back to the video switch. Right leg, toss it, toss it, toss it. Going, push up, you remember? Knee tuck. Push up, knee tuck. Deep breath in, exhale. Oh yeah. Nice. Is the body shaking? It should. 30 seconds of a break now. Guys. My hairdo from yesterday. Lori Canyon Hill Salon. The best hair up hairstylist ever here in California. Southern California, Orange County. Phenomenal. 
phenomenal. She made the hairstyle for me for my videos today. We gotta go. Better stay like this, it will. But I'm all sweaty, right? Hold on, left, right, back to the left. You see how I had to rem remind myself? Ugh. So I uh, have to get ready to shoot the videos and busy schedule guys as always big things going on huh Super exhaustion from the workout or getting sick. <laughs> Sometimes you sweat, you're like, huh? Is that really this sweat or is this some kind of a weird sweat? Better not be. Wellness shot from truliness here. Oh man, left, right, left, right. Ah! Push up. Stand up. Stand up. Push, push, push. We finishing on it right. And please think about the left leg. Think about what I told you today about these habits. Slam it. You need a habit coach. You gotta hire one. Within a month, your life will be changed for you. Oh no excuses ladies, I broke them down in such a good patterns. Have so many answers there. Join the group. Watch these videos. Right now it's free. It's still free. Big things coming, so take advantage of it. That it's still free. You watch these videos. Learn from them. Apply. Let's do this. Push up. Knee tuck. Push up. Knee tuck. Oh yeah. A lot of push ups. A lot of knee tucks. Phones, these washes are funny, right? Send your messages. 
Now imagine coach is sending you a message every single day to bring you on your A game. We're going next round. One more, one more 30 seconds. One more 30 seconds. Ah, this herbal tea woke me up. There is nothing like herbal tea concentrate, guys. It's in my bio. It's in my bio on Instagram. Oh, I will send you right now the link right here on the Facebook page. Listen, this is phenomenal energy. You cannot compare to a coffee. Nothing, nothing will give you the energy like this thing. Absolutely amazing. So get yourself one today. I am posting this right here for you guys. The link is the link is there. So just click click on the link. Get your elbow to concentrate. It will wake you up. Wake you up. Yes. All right. Crawl out. Crawl out. Oh my god, my hair even are wet. Crawl out. Single leg. Push up. <clears throat> then we have the slam. We have the toss. Get ready. Whew, last one. Three, two, one. Crawl out. Single leg. Starting from right, since we did squat rest on the left. Let's jump. At that jump. We're gonna spice it up. Crawl out. Push up. Ah, single leg. Woo. Crawl out. Push up. Those are final minutes. Get that ball. Left leg. Look, we gotta crawl out. You gotta get that ball. And you gotta slam it. Yes, you see? Get that ball. Slam it. Please, tag someone in this workout. Share on Facebook. You just need to share the page to your friend's page. It's hard? Yes, of course. It should be hard. Remember, the hard things bring you that victorious feeling. They make you feel pushed forward. They make you feel accomplished, alive. I feel like I just climbed up the mountain. That's how it feels. Feels amazing. Hands, ball, go, push up. We're gonna repeat the leg lift right here. Squeeze your glutes. Go, go, go. Squeeze, don't rush. Thirty seconds. Oh, I'm checking the time. Good work, guys. Good work. I have to delete some some stuff here. Good. Right, left, crawl out. Most likely, last one. I gotta go. You can stay and do and do. One more round. Less. <clears throat> so two more. You would repeat. Switching your leg. Go, 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 go. You can jump. You can do a push-up. Remember, we add the push-up here. Single leg. And jumping. And we're going to switch the leg. <clears throat> for this line, the ball stays close to you. You gotta crawl out, crawl back in, grab that ball on a single leg, and then slam it. <sighs> Drop it, crawl it out, crawl it back in, grab that ball, slam it. 
We're gonna have one more. Ah, on your left. Guys, listen, I am challenging you today to start your workout regimen. You need to have personalized program for yourself. Send me a message. There are different tiers, different options of doing virtual 101. The whole workout is designed for you. And you have ability to message your coach, stay on track. This is your chance, guys. Because a lot of you go to the gym, you go through the motions. You're not getting any results, nothing. In the meantime, my application is built in a way that I see all the information about you, how you eat, what's your heart rate if you're gonna attach your, all your devices, time. So this is really a game changer in the workouts. Please send me a message, send me a direct message, and let's get you started either on the mind body business operate to dominate program that will scale you in life in all these different areas, or you need just a coach, nutrition, workout. We have that too, one on one. It depends. Sometimes it's just mind and body. I have clients that do mind and body. I have clients that just strictly want mind. I have clients that want it all, okay? So send us a message, connect with us, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. No excuses. Remember, 24-hour bike ride is happening in eight days because it's next Saturday, 12 noon to 12 known on Sunday, we're going to be riding with my big freak family, the freak Tyson and Ivanka, 24 hours, non-stop bikes to donate the money to the charity, big brothers and big sisters. And I am involving you with this. Some of you will be donating the money, but you know what would be awesome? If you guys even put in your head, in your calendar, one hour, just one hour of that bike ride, with your friends, with your family, taking the links, sharing the links, and spreading this, spreading it everywhere so people can actually think, okay, this is good. I, I can help, but at the same time, I can get some workout done. I can get, I have a step forward towards getting fit and healthier. Changing the mindset, change, because that's what it's all about. Instead of staying in front of the TV and staying and playing games or just lounging around home, just being active. This one event can change your life. You never know. Sometimes just that one single thing, someone said something, something sparked in you, something on someone happened in your life and it caused you to flip the switch and change. Remember this. Having no excuses, check the link. It's on Facebook, on Instagram. You guys are gonna find out all the details, it's gonna be fun. The goal is to stay and bike for so long. We've never done it. I don't know what to expect. We've never done it. 24 hour push-ups, and we did it. So the nation was yesterday uh, donated to Big Brothers and Sisters. I'm gonna show you the pictures later. It's gonna be posted here on Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. The kids delivered the check, the big check. And somebody asked us, can we deposit this? Check it out. I, I will talk to you guys later. Have a no excuses day. Bye, everybody.